Rogers is still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex. This is the Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and what is that's Stephen Pearl? What? What? Hi, everybody. Yeah. What? What is that? Are you wearing a uh, a, a wearing virus mask the wrong way? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm the Phantom of the Opera. La, 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 I'm broken out like a pepperoni special from Smegmetti's Pizzeria, and I don't want anyone to see it, so I covered it up, and for your convenience, I marked the trouble spots, see? But you don't have to look at real zits. So 64 years old, I got little red dots on it. Here's a little, you know. How did that, how did that, how did that happen? I, I don't know. I, I, I usually eat well, but the other night I had... Um, Muscles with linguine and it was greasy and good, lots of sauce and some butter and stuff. And next day I wake up and it's uh, pop goes the pimple. So, you know, oh, wow. I was, there was an army of them. There's a small army of them. I go, Man, I'm 64. This was supposed to stop happening like 45 years ago. Uh, uh, how bad are they? I mean, are they so bad that I would, I would, be, re- <laughs> I would be repulsed and vomit here if I looked at them? Well, the the juicers are now scabs, so... uh, The juicers are now scabs. Yeah, so that's (laughs) that's zip talk for you. Now, now did you do that for our benefit? Only for you, darling. I'm not sitting here. I'm not doing it for the cats. You're not not, not going around the house. That's it. That's it. Yeah, well, gee, that's amazing. So uh, I just broke out. I haven't broken out guy in 1975, I think, so... uh, it happens, so I'm covering them up because so you don't feel. Ugh. I haven't I had. Anyway, I, I, I haven't. I haven't literally had zits in years. Yeah, yeah. that's well. You know. they, they're still not fun. Hmm. You're not going to impress Mary Ellen Rogers with these babies. This, that's growing this out isn't of. like coronavirus light or anything. No, no, not, no. That, no, not that I know. It's just a because every know. day they come up with a new symptom of coronavirus. Oh yeah, and. You get this and, and and you begin to wonder, you know, uh, do I have the coronavirus? Ah, you know? uh, yeah. Well, but my wife, not. my wife, see, I'm, I, I don't have the coronavirus because my wife went and had to be tested because oh, okay. she had some elected elective procedure done, and they wouldn't do it unless she got the test. Oh, okay. God. okay. So she went and got the test, and she passed with flying colors. I mean. <laughs> There's no such thing as passing with flying colors. You either pass or you don't pass. And she passed. Well, if she passed. I don't have it. Uh, okay, that's good. You know, I mean, really, because I haven't left the house. The only yeah. person I've come into contact with is her. Uh-huh. So all these things I'm getting, like a little bit of rough breathing and uh, uh, teary eyes and things, it's pollen. Yeah, it's so, springtime. It's you know, a horrible pollen that. season, and uh, I'm having a little breathing problem today. Anyway, but you, you've got zits. I got zits, I, and I coughed in the gym, and I just yell, I smoke weed, so nobody panics. You know? Yeah, he, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're, we're, uh, we usually do, like, two of these. Well, the two, one, seven. But I, I don't know if we can do two today, because if we come back next week. Oh, yeah. That we do the one next week, and you still have that on your face. I can put this on the other side and just go like Jack Benny, like this. <laughs> Oh no! These this ain't coming off till I'm as clear as a summer day. Well, if we do another one, we'll just have to tell the audience that uh, you know this was recorded before when you had still had your pimples. I'll change my T-shirt. You know they won't know. It's like when you did like a week of the you know you were contestant on the match game for a week. You did it all the same day, but you had to bring five changes of clothes. Do you have access to a pharmacy? They're all over the place. Well, you could have gotten those little dot bandages and put them on each of my your wife. Zits. Nina told me about them. Like in an hour, the zits go away. You know, but. But they no, don't tell no. you that each one takes a year off your life. So. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about. I'm just talking about hiding the zits. Oh, yeah. just, <laughs> just, they're just the band aid spots. You know, You're right? Yeah, a little band aid. They make this. She told me she make this thing you put on the zit. Really? Twenty four hours, it's gone. So it's like a new speedy zit remover. What's it called? Zit away or something? Zit like away. That? Yeah. yeah. Zit on. 
<laughs> when I was a kid, did I have problems with zits? I, you know, with every kid in, in oh, you know what I had problems with when I was a kid? This is disgusting, folks. So go <laughs> go somewhere else if you don't want to. Ringworm. Yeah. Here, I'm going to make myself a little bigger because I, I could okay. fit into the picture without invading your face. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, no, now God. I'm invading your face. It, it just look like you were looking before. There we go. Anyway, so here's the deal. Um, uh, when I was a kid, I didn't really get. I got you know I got pimples and stuff. But I didn't get acne, but I you know I it's because I think it's some kind of chemical change in your body, right? Yeah. Okay. So I I did that, and it was yeah, I had that. But then what I had that was terrible is I got boils. Oh, those aren't fun. Uh, you don't want those. Uh, on my ass. Oh, boy. You can't see them, but boy. It hurt. No. I mean, they were they were like this. Oh, Lord. Okay, they were my huge. Boils. My parents had to take me to the hospital to have them drained. Nice. You know, they'd stick a needle in there and just drain oh. all the pus out, and then yep. the, the boil went away. I yeah. got maybe five, six boils in my time. Oh, well. You never know what's going yeah, to happen. So, but after all of that, I don't think I've had a zit problem since. I mean, occasionally you get a pimple on your face yeah. or on your arm. You, you know, you, you do get pimples. But you look like you just, I guess, the the, the greasy oh, food. Oh, my, my name's Sal Rizzo. Hey, have you seen Marie? Come here. Go over here. Well, the, squeeze the greasy food undid you. Oh, before I could, I could squeeze one and break a window six blocks away. Yeah. yeah. So how's everything in Vegas? Your, uh, your uh, casinos are opening. We're opening up, but the comedy rooms aren't yet, so I'm just sitting around, and I'm, oh, I, I do have a gig next week, hopefully. so there is a place. Wait a minute, open. there's a gig? Yes, like, I, I forget, I know the address, I don't know the name of the place. But then but what they, do I they mean, do, is there like three people there? I, probably. I mean, do you remember, you remember the days when you were starting out in comedy? The most frightening experience, at least, that I've ever had when I've had to go on stage, and sometimes I've had to, as you know, um, is when, if somebody said to me, how when you went did the Frost Amphitheater? How how can you play to thirty five to uh, nine thousand people? Uh, and I went, it's no problem. I said, you know what the problem is? When I went on at the Holy City Zoo to uh, do something, and there were three people there. Three people. Oh yeah. I scared the shit out of me. <laughs> well, it, it, and I do. Do you do you agree with that? I mean, did you find that when you when there were like only three people there, it was frightening? Not for me. I like just riff or you know, just try, try just try to go out there and experiment really? and have fun. So sometimes I'd have a lot of fun. Sometimes they just stare and walk out in the middle of whatever, whatever I was doing, and that didn't work out. But no, I didn't. As I said size doesn't matter, and you know, I've killed in front of both sizes and I have bombed in front of both size crowds. So you yeah, know, yeah. But but I found that when I pl when I played in front of nine thousand people, it was just like a sea of people. Yeah, sure. You know, you and I didn't I think it. twice about it. You know, and also. You're safer because all those people are not going to come on stage and jump you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, where if you're in a little club at two o'clock in the morning and you're doing your set and there are only three people in the front row, if they don't like your act, they can just jump up on stage and beat the crap out of yeah. you. <laughs> well, that doesn't really happen unless you're reading for Mein Kampf or something, you know, then yeah. you get jumped. But the, if you're doing a comedy show, they'll usually laugh or yawn or leave. So it's not, you're not really danger most of the time what you know do you ever go i'm sure you you've had sets that you've done that have completely bombed right yeah, yeah sure i mean that's wow. not that's not telling oh, tales yeah. out of school yeah <clears throat> how, how do you feel afterwards after after something like that happens you know it's one thing with with comedy i've often said that the the horrible thing about stand-up comedy is that you uh, die alone. There's <laughs> yeah. nobody up there dying with you. I mean, oh, yeah, that, it sucks. That's why I think some people like doing, like, improv, you know, with four <laughs> other people there, right? Yeah, sure. But, but when you're doing stand-up comedy, you're alone. And yeah. when you bomb, I mean, you you feel you feel like shit, don't you? Yeah, in the old, old days, you feel like shit for a long time. You know, and uh, in modern times, meaning the last, I guess, 30 years... Uh, I'd feel bad for a day, then I'd do another set, and I'd do well. Like, okay, I don't feel bad anymore. Because so uh, uh, kind of float away. Actually, uh, you and comics that were on my show became bomb-proof. 
<laughs> well, I t- well, I'll tell you why. I found this out because I used to host, you know, MC the comedy <laughs> shows that I did. And I would go out and I'd do five minutes and I'd play with the audience. I'd do all kinds right. of things like that. And it was very easy to do because they were my audience. Yeah. And so right. all I had to do was do jokes that were referencing the show or somebody on the yeah. show or whatever. I immediately got respect and they laughed at me because uh-huh. they knew who I was in advance. I had pre sold yeah. myself. Uh, you were, you and then were. when you guys went on stage, they knew who you were, and yep. you and you didn't have to go through that whole process that most comedians do, who go on stage in the first five minutes is like bringing people into your world. Yeah, yeah. But they were already there because they knew you from the radio. Yeah, and I try to get them quick anyway. So uh, uh, and that the fact that they knew us already, we were kind of hey, we know you. It was like an Alan Freed show with famous bands and groups of the day. You know, hey, it's Buddy Holly. Hey, there's uh, you know Jerry Lee Lewis. And they knew who they were, and they knew they were usually in for a good show. So, but they kind of made that kind of made you bomb proof, didn't it? Yeah, I, I I remember killing on all your shows, but uh, I never did well in San Jose though. That was the only thing I couldn't crack San Jose. For some reason, I did a few good shows there, but uh, you know, I would do the comedy competition or whatever, and they just couldn't get them in San Jose. I don't know why. Yeah, fine town, yeah. fine town. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you're breaking. Up. You're you're not. Hello, up. hello. No, no, you're not. Now you're okay. You were. We were having a little bit of um, of of, of uh, you being out of sync. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm ready to go. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that oh, now. Sound, it sound. Not working. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, so um, uh, so you can't do your comedy now, but you are going to do it in a club. And how are they? Are they going to have any restrictions? Like how many people can be there or whatever? I have no idea. I have no idea. I just know the show is going to be in color. That's all I know. It's, uh, I don't yeah. Know and who who are you are you playing with? Other com- comics, you know? Other, com- other comics. I don't know who, but they're friends of mine. The guy who's putting the show on is a friend of mine. So. Uh, I and uh, some other people that are friends of mine. That's is this the fir- is this the first time? First in- time since this thing started. Yeah, sure. Wow. I've done anything. Those I've done Zoom interviews, but I haven't done any Zoom stand up shows. So. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been retired. Yeah. I, I decided to start using Zoom because it was so easy for people to use. If I had you use Skype, you'd have to put in Skype. You'd have to learn how to use it, you know, and whatever. With this, you double click on a link I send you, and there you are. Oh yeah, Skype's horrible. I once tried to use Skype, and I accidentally started a war with Malta. So, <laughs> but I gotta tell you, but I gotta tell you, folks. Wow, boy. Yeah. Hey. But, but you know, I mean, I uh, um, um, it, it, doing comedy to me. I've you know you know me. I've always had a lot of respect for comics. Uh-huh. And I've had, a, and I had a lot of respect for comics because, quite frankly, I considered it the most scary of the, the uh, the what can we call it? entertainment professions. Yes, yes. Okay, you're, you're naked as the day you, of your life. You're so. absolutely. You go up there. If you succeed, you succeed, uh-huh. and if you fail, you die on your. Uh-huh. Oh, you're dying yeah. alone. Okay, <laughs> you know what death is like. Yep. You die, and then you got another like yeah. twenty minutes to die, or whatever. <laughs> you oh, you, you, you! I'm sure you've gone out, and the first five minutes is bombed, and the Certainly. rest of the twenty sure. minutes is going to bomb too. And you know you've got that ahead of you. <laughs> oh, I did uh, uh, four years ago. They flew me up to was it Seattle? Not Seattle, somewhere up the Pacific Northwest to do some big theater, and uh, I went on stage, and nothing's happened. <laughs> And I got well, I got another twenty minutes to go, so I'm just going. And they, and they flew you there on top of it. They just flew me there. Somebody in the like the back row was like, "Say something funny." So where, where do you go from there? <laughs> yeah. so I haven't been back. What, what, do you have a a particular uh, uh, heckler retort that you use? Uh well, what is this old line that says, uh, "You know." I don't have a lot of time. I just want to say you're an idiot. You have a low IQ. You don't have any friends, and everyone in the world is fuck your mother. And now for my next joke. So uh, yeah. Oh no, I don't know. I just, I just, uh, you know, like, what do you say about that? It is hard to believe. That the I funny, have a funny part people don't understand about hecklers is they think they're helping you. It depends. <laughs> it depends on the heckler. They're different breeds. Well, because different. because I I had somebody heckling me, and then after the show, I went up to him and I said, hey, "Why did you do that?" And he said, oh, I was just helping you. Yeah, they have a few drinks and God knows what else. And uh, 
They yeah. want to be part of the show. They want to be part of the act. Uh, yeah, they want. They, they got yeah. one, one or two playful things. I can, you know, it's, it's okay. Yeah, kind of. You still shouldn't do it, but you know, because there's a line between the stage and the audience, and the audience didn't cross it. Well, but, I had, uh, I had nothing but a ton of respect for comics. I just yeah. think it's the hardest profession in the world, and I think I don't know you why know, we do it. God. I think we're unbalanced as children, and, and we had and, to do something. And I think up. you provide a service, so let's 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 give it that uh, that uh, thing yeah. as well. Anyway, people in charge were essential. Comics are, are essential. essential. Yeah. Hey, we've run out of time. Holy crap! And, time goes by when you're marked with pimples. And, and your and your pimples have started to dry up more than they, they were are, when they we are. started. The ink is starting to smudge. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Stephen Pearl. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that was Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen, and I am Alex Bennett, and I am here, and um, we're going to take your calls in a different way tonight, and I, 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 I think it will, it will work okay, I'm hoping. Um, what I did is we're going to use um, uh, Zoom tonight, and it is easier to use than Skype, okay? It just doesn't afford me a certain, oh, what do you call it, creative screen look. I have to just put up the, the uh, Zoom page. Now, if you go over to facebook.com forward slash A Bennett, or you go to Gab, uh, you'll find a link that you just click on, and that will take you to our uh, site. Okay, it will take you to our, um, our Zoom. Uh, and... Um, if you go over to gabnet.net, you will see a thing in the center of the page that basically reads, let me see if I have it here, uh, so I can read it to you. Click here to join us at, uh, at Showtime on Zoom. You just click on that, and that will take you to us on Zoom. And then if you're watching us uh, on YouTube, uh, the YouTube page... Um, uh, has the link on it as well. In other words, if you're looking at the video, you'll notice it says you call us, and then it's got a, a got an, a link, and that's what you do. Okay, and I'm hoping now that this is going to work. <laughs> okay, so uh, if people want to, you can start calling, and we will uh, we will see what happens. I it takes you to a room. In fact, let me turn that off for the time being. The wait in the waiting room. So people can just come on if they want to. Um, it just makes it easier. There's a waiting room that we have that you just sit there and you wait until I say, okay. And if it gets a little too, um, too crafty tonight, we'll, we'll do that. Now, you see, I don't know if anybody's going to call or if, I'm even, uh, if it's even working. Uh, I'm going to hope that it's working. Um, so... Um, uh, the uh, number to uh, the we actually have a um, uh, uh, a whole uh, you are a whole clickable link to us. So it's oh well, here we go here comes somebody here comes Charlie Wallace he's the first one to come in on our uh, our uh, Zoom panel. Let me see if he has a picture. Uh, Charlie, do you have a picture? There we go. There we are. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Uh, let me give it a gallery view. There we go. So that we uh, have the two of us. Okay, now let me just, uh, bring that over to here. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Charlie. How are you? Charlie? Oh, it, it connects. You yeah, you're connected well, to audio. several steps to get on. It, what, did you, what did you have to do? Oh. Well, First, I had to launch a Zoom meeting, and then I had to join with uh, video, and then I had to join with audio. I think that that is the first time you join it, they ask you those questions. Yeah. Huh? But you got through it okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a, a real problem. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Uh, Phil Meyer is trying to call now. Well, uh, why isn't he getting on? Is the question okay, Phil? 
Uh, there's Brian Neary. Uh, he's coming on. There we go. Hello, Brian. How are you? All right. Uh, I don't. I don't see uh, Phil Meyer's going to have to try again. I guess. Um, and you're walking through your house, are you, Brian? I was out doing tennis with my daughter, and I just finished, and I turned my uh, phone on the, the YouTube, and I saw you, Charlie, on again already before me. My God. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it's no longer a, a situation in which I have to uh, pick who's first and who's second and who's third and where I'm going to put them. You just put them wherever Zoom wants to put you, you know. Uh, but uh, it looks it looks okay. It looks like we're yeah. doing all yeah. right. And, you know. and I didn't have to mess up my audio. Last time I had to mess up my audio, so maybe Charlie, like uh, Alex is saying, it's it'll be fine for you set up again. Yeah, once you're set up, I think you're okay. Also, to people who are listening, you don't have to have Zoom installed on your machine. Uh, you just click on that, and it'll take you to us. Uh, you don't have to have uh, anything to do with... Uh, uh, with, uh, with, with loading Zoom into your machine. I mean, it's better if you have it. But if you don't have it, uh, you can still, just by clicking... Do you have it in your computer, uh, uh, Charlie? Yeah. You do, and you do too, Brian, right? Yeah, and I, like I said last night, I, I use my work laptop because I already have Zoom, and then, like I said, plus my boss sees me logging in yeah. on my computer so she thinks i'm working i think once you've also i've been told i don't know this because i'm not a big zoom user that once you called somebody they're in your contact list or something or you can you can call that number again mm. i think maybe yeah maybe here comes phil he uh yeah he should be coming in um phil's having a problem coming Are you there phil He's having some kind of problem connecting here. Yeah, I don't have a picture for him yet. No, I don't have a picture for him either. Uh, and I don't have any audio for him either. So, um, but he, but it did make a space for him. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, so I, I don't know. Um, Phil, you shouldn't <clears throat> be having a problem, Phil. Nobody else is. But uh, let me see here. Um, well, uh, Phil and I are more. Okay. Allow, record, no, rename, put in waiting room, no, remove, report. Hmm. I don't know what, what's, what's Phil's problem. Uh, anybody else wants to call, we would love to hear from you. I'm not, I, I can put people in the waiting room, and then I have to, like, bring them in. Uh, but um, um, the, I figured I don't need to do that right now. If it gets unwieldy, then I'll put in the waiting room uh, and supposedly while you're in the waiting room you have a gabnet logo there and things like that you know but uh, if you're listening to us phil probably you're just not you haven't got something set up right you know uh it, 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 here comes phil again and it does make space for him are you there phil can you hear us no he can't, he can't hear us mm. so I, I don't know what his problem is you know, but what the hell? You know, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to flip buttons or, or do anything. I just uh, sit here and just uh, casually take the calls. The uh, waiting room doesn't give you a bing or chime or anything? No? No. What it does is it, it, what, it, what happens is uh, the, uh, if I have a waiting room, everybody immediately goes into the so-called waiting room. They're not on right. yet, and then I just go accept or whatever the thing is and then it brings them over into the thing but i don't know what's the problem with phil he he doesn't have doesn't have a microphone by his name and he doesn't have a camera by his name so apparently he doesn't have his camera or stuff like that put on so who knows what his problem is unfortunately here comes phil again and again he doesn't have a microphone he doesn't have a camera so he hasn't do you, do you know enough about this, Brian, that you could tell him what he's doing wrong? No. He says. Oh, and like with his name, with his name there, it looks like he's like he has he's on. And he has no picture. And like well, it says trouble message. connecting. He just wrote me and said he has trouble connecting, oh. and uh -huh. he, and he shouldn't have. He didn't have trouble. The I think the other night when we did. Uh, uh, he got right on. When we used Zoom, yeah. uh, he didn't have a problem. 
Now, right. I'm waiting for other people to call, like Jeff and Kevin and people like that, and see if they're having a problem. But Phil, I don't know why Phil's having a problem. Phil, mm -hmm. what you might do is go to another one of our sources, like my Facebook page, or just click on the video where it has the URL and maybe try that, and it might work better. Or then there, otherwise, it's something you don't have set up in your uh, on your machine. But it's it's so simple that you know, I don't know people who have problems with this. That's why yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah. You know. And on your Facebook, he asked like uh, Skype through Zoom or something. Uh, on your Zoom yeah. link, he, he put a comment there, but he should have just gone through like last time. But he put a you comment on the, you know, the URL there. And... Wait a minute, he put a yeah. comment here. Wait a minute, uh, trouble connecting, and he put a comment. What he what comment did he put? Uh, Zoom for Skype. Yeah. What's Zoom for Skype? There's, there's no such thing. Uh, Zoom know. for Skype. That's not connected. You know, uh, is no, Zoom is it's it, Zoom is Zoom and Skype is Skype. And if, you, if you're looking at that, Phil, what I would do is I would go to that, um, uh, that link that's there, the HTTPS link, mm -hmm. and click on that. Apparently, he's getting through, but his yeah, audio isn't and his video isn't. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what his problem is. So, you know. Uh, but I don't know what he means by Zoom for Skype. No, there's no such thing. Anyway. So, I guess this is it, huh? I thought we'd have a ton of people Looks because, fun. folks, it's so, Everything's si opening up. It's, so it's so simple for you to do. It's just absolutely, it's, um, what can we call it? It's a no-brainer, okay? In fact, all the comics that I'm having on now with video, I'm having them on because they don't know how to work Skype. But this thing is so simple for them because they just click on the link, the and it link. gets them there. So yeah. I don't know what Phil's problem is. He may have some problem in his computer or whatever. But um, because it, it automatically asks you, uh, do you want this audio? Didn't it ask you about the audio, Charlie? Yeah. Do you yeah. want to use this audio and you want to use this video? And then you went, yes, yes. And then yeah. you were put on. Here comes Phil again. No microphone, no camera. <laughs> See? So apparently he's not answering those questions, or he might go up uh, to uh, if he if he has Zoom, he might go up and hit the. Uh, it's like uh, at the very top of the page there are two icons, the one on the right, and then you get your preferences, and then you go in and set your audio and set your video, but you sh he shouldn't have to really do that, you know. It should be asking him from the beginning what he wants to do. So, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say, Phil. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'll tell you what I can do, Phil. I can, um, let me see here. I don't have a, oh boy. Well, uh, let's see here. Uh, um, I can invite, oh, oh here comes oh, Patrick. Patrick. Look, here, Pat, Patrick, boom. Did you have any trouble, Patrick? Uh, yeah, well, I'm I'm not gonna be honest about it. We'll just leave it alone. Oh, okay. Uh, how about you, Kevin? Was it a problem getting on? Nope. No, nope. no problem for Kevin. So, who's got his audio up? How about you, Kevin? Was it a problem? Ah, there we no, go. No problem at all. Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Phil, on the other hand, is having all kinds of trouble tonight. It's the Russians. Huh? The Democrat, yeah, Democrats are running. The Zoom Democrat, now. it's a Democrat <laughs> company. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, here comes Phil again. Oh, and Jeff. Jeff, Ste Jeff Stein has an odd thing. Oh, he has no camera. Turn on your camera, Jeff. Are you there, Jeff? In fact, turn on your audio as well. Yeah. See. Yeah. You should ask you those two questions, and that's it. And once you've yeah. done it once, it yeah, it's automatic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I was on a Teams meeting today, mm -hmm. and they we I've been on like maybe five or ten now, and they're starting to get more popular. But they have the backgrounds, you know, and they have some really nice like architectural indoor inside from the house, really rich houses. 
Yeah. So yeah. I was on one of those, and one of the people thought that that was my house. So. <laughs> Let's see. I just asked him to start video, Jeff. Um, Jeff, you are you getting a um, uh, a sign of that? See, and uh, Brian, you've got your microphone turned off for a second. Yeah, I can see that. So anyway, well, I don't know what to do about Jeff. Uh, Jeff, it should be very simple, but you know, then again, we it's Let's not. See, simple. maybe I can uh, chat with him real quick. Yeah, well, here comes Phil again, and Phil doesn't have a microphone or a camera, so I don't know what his. Uh, what his problem is, you know, he's having some kind of problem. Um, I wonder if there, what, what uh, any way I can talk to him. Uh, well, I, I really don't uh, have any way to talk to him, unless I go to Skype, which I'm not going to do, you know. But uh, we're uh, we're here, and we're um, uh, we got our we got we got what looks like a, a citizen panel. This is the beginning of one. This is the first time we've really used Zoom. We used it once before. And I, I know if, what I can do. Let me see what I can do. What? I'll go to uh, Facebook and send Phil a message. Okay, send oh. Phil a message. Tell him he okay. hasn't got his camera on and he hasn't got his audio on, but he is coming through. <clears throat> kind of. Because you may notice at the bottom there's an empty space, and that's <laughs> Phil. So. Beats ball of death from Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know what Phil's problem is. And Jeff, I, 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 I just don't know what we can do with Jeff. Um, he, needs, he needs his wife to help him. <laughs> huh? He needs his wife yeah. to help him out. Well, I, I uh, asked him to start his video, and apparently he isn't starting his video. Um Everybody, if you have a chance at the very top of your page, uh, let me see here. There are two dots, and one of them, hold on a second, I'm, I'm looking into the light here, so it's hard for me. Um, uh, it's uh, going, uh, let's see here. Bum, 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 bum. It says, uh, you are using enhanced enc encryption. Well, you use that. Yeah, and yeah, just if you clip, uh, click on that, I believe, um, that shield, you go, get to your um, uh, preferences, and you can go to audio, and you can go to video, and you can turn it on and off. Well, Phil is online. We have, he has audio. Hello, Phil. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, hey. well, now why don't you have a picture? Uh, I don't know. I'm looking for the camera setting. The camera uh, setting I is... I keep getting a thing that says join meeting connecting, and uh, that's circling. Mm -hmm. And then I have the beach ball, which is circling as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, there might uh, be a window uh, behind you, uh, Phil. Uh, look behind you, and there might be a window behind you. That has all been right. Uh, there, there is. Uh, join the meeting. And we've just been joined. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I told you. <laughs> Uh, Pam, hello, Pam. I told you. <laughs> Hi. I'm trying to get Jeff on. Oh, oh, well, to the rescue. Oh, oh, Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, Pam. I will hang up on Jeff on that other uh, yeah, hang him up. line. Remove. Okay. Of course I was helping. You want to remove? It says, you know what? With Jeff's computer, it oh, says. Wait a minute. Where, where's that audio coming from? But, can you hear me? No. Have you got audio gotta, going there? You've got to mute his tab. You've got Facebook going or something? Yeah. Mute the tab. There we go. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, now let's get back to solving Phil's problem here. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm at a setting screen. It says video, but I have a beach ball going around in circles. Really? And the join a meeting thing says connecting, but it's did you not reboot connected. your computer? Yeah, I will. Uh, uh, let go me, reboot uh, your computer. I think that may be uh, the problem you're let having. Let me kill this thing. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Five. Okay, on. okay Pam. Hello, Jeff. You could, again, Hello. Jeff was having problems. What were what were your problems, Jeff? It says his browser does not support Zoom or something. Where is that audio coming from? Okay, Pam. Hello, Jeff. Yeah, I don't know why we're. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff, uh, over there, you're, you've got the audio from the show on. Would you turn it off, please? 
Would you turn off the audio from you the might show? have one of the tabs open. Yeah. You have to yeah. mute one of the tabs. Yeah, it might be that you have the tab of the video open. Yeah, that's a possibility, too. Because uh, I've got to do that when I call. Uh, ask uh, to mm -hmm. unmute. Okay, I'm unmuting. Well, I'm trying to unmute. Yeah, it right. might be that you have the tab of the video. Oh, open. Gee, there we are again. Just... Yeah, but it, can you hear us live? No, yeah, but you, you're, you've got our video somewhere, and we can hear it. And I know it's you because I've muted you, and I, I, I stopped hearing the sound. Okay. Oh, there we are again. See? So, Pam, up top, you probably have yeah. Facebook open. You might have Facebook open. Just, just mute one of the tabs where your Facebook is open. Just mute it. I think it. I got it. There we go. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now I got to get back in. And this is also a good primer for everybody else, too, you know. Yeah. So, uh, okay. You can understand now you're in what's Jeff, going think, on. Right? There you go. Now you okay. got to Sorry. So it said something about, what did I just say? It wouldn't support you. The browser. Your, your browser wouldn't, at Jeff's machine, it says his browser won't support Zoom or something. Huh. It won't what support Zoom? Yeah, he's got an Apple Airbook. I don't know. Which browser was he using? Oh, I don't know. What I don't know. Using. Probably Safari. Yeah, I'll put you over there. Maybe I'm, Safari. Maybe that's machine. maybe that's the problem. Oh, Safari. That's Safari. what I'm using. Okay. Okay. Who's joining us? Uh, Twelve o six two. Who is this? Twelve o six two. Where'd Charlie go? Yeah, what happened to Charlie? Oh, there he comes. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, 12062. I don't uh, I have no idea who this is, so let me just get rid of him. Oh, but not connect to audio. He's connecting to audio. Oh, wait a I minute. I think Charlie's having issues. Let's see who it is. And you're done. Uh, hello, 1060, uh, 12062. Are you there? Hello? If I don't Unmute. Need, if, if, Unmute. He unmute. disconnected from audio. Uh, no, it says, it, it says connected to audio. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. Here comes yeah. Phil again. Uh, sent a f sent a photo. What did you? Why did you send a photo? <laughs> I I don't know. I I'm gonna get rid of this guy because I don't know who the hell he is and uh, if he's not going to. Uh, oh, ask to unmute. Let's see if he unmutes. Uh, hello, are you there? Okay, let me get rid of him. Okay. Um, this is our first night really attempting this, and uh, um, I just hung up on him. What's the problem? Here. Remove. There we go. Okay. All right. I have removed him. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, let's see if uh, other people can get on. Uh, uh, what is that? <laughs> That's oh, Skype, okay. isn't it? No, that's me. Uh, let me mute myself. I got Phil. No, you got Phil on the phone. Oh, yeah. Well, this is okay. this Glad is another, another night of fun, right, Patrick? <laughs> well, what was your what was your? You didn't seem to have much of a problem getting on, Patrick. In fact, you and I and uh, Kevin and uh, and Josh get I, together and talk. I don't easy. like the extra steps of having the clock on the damn length and then. It Skype to me is easier. I've said that a zillion times. This might be nicer. I'm not going to sit and bitch about it. it. It's your show. You want to use it? I'll go with it. It's just more. It more steps, even though it seems like it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. It it is more step to get in. Uh, yeah, but I'll tell you for for at for the average person, okay. The average person I'm out there. Handicapped, so you know you it, gotta. Well, well you gotta get it out. yeah, but you're not technically handicapped. You know, you're not you're not Jack Bishop. Okay, you're not technically handicapped. <laughs> um, uh, but um, it 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 seems to be a lot easier for people who just know nothing about it. I mean, all they have to do is just click on that link. Except unless your name is Phil Meyer, I can't understand what <laughs> Phil's problem is. Okay. Um, did somebody just join us? No. Or whatever. No, anyway. Phil went away. Oh, Phil went away. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's back to just six of us. Yeah. 
Well, I'm waiting to see if Phil can get on, but uh, it doesn't matter. We can talk about Trump in horrible ways and drive him crazy that he can't re <laughs> rebut anything we say. But Kevin can't join in because he's on the phone with Phil. So. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's he's trying to he's trying to give him a primer on this whole thing. This is, this as I say, we did uh, Zoom. I think one other time in a rather haphazard way because I, we just couldn't get Skype to work right. Uh, but uh, tonight I had this thing all set up so that it would work and so that it would it would set up and. Uh, put people on and so on and um it's it's working i mean because these people are here but there are certain people having having problems and i have no idea what phil's problem is you know um but and and then oh i, I, I now jeff it said that your computer wouldn't let you your your browser wouldn't let you use it yeah huh well what no, what, what browser do you use i think i use one of the Apple oh, Safari. Safari. Oh, okay. I think this probably works better with uh, with Chrome. What What do you use, uh, Patrick? Uh, Safari. Really? And it works. It worked okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and how about you, Brian? Uh, mine's already locked in from work, so mine one touch and I'm in, so it's good. One touch and you're in, yeah. Yeah. I think the first time's the hardest, which is what I had yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, because I had the audio issue, which was weird last time, and this one no issue. Which is what I said with the first time I had sex. You know, each time you do it, it gets a little easier, uh, and uh, then you do it so many times that you're you never get tired of it. Never got tired of sex, except now it's like you know. With them puncturing my prostate, they're trying to beat me into submission, you know. So that's the way it is. So anyway, f apparently Kevin is. Oh, now Kevin's trying to get Phil on, and Phil still has. Huh? Uh, got, huh? His name's there again. So. His, Brian. Yeah, his name is there again. Well, I don't. I don't have his name here, but I do have. He is a a, a, a blacked out square. And but Phil's microphone isn't on and his camera isn't on, so that's what we have to do. So now Phil, uh, we have uh, we have uh, Kevin, as you can see, is on the phone to Phil, trying to get him on, and who knows why Phil is having a problem? I have no idea. Yeah, Phil, blame you, and then you find out it's his. Huh? Oh, I'm he's sure. I'm book. sure it's something he's not doing. Yeah. You know. It's, and it uh, probably has something to do with the preferences. But why he's getting a beach ball, you know, I mean, who knows? Anyway, uh, so what's been happening in the world? Uh, today was just, you know, there were the hearings on Capitol Hill uh, regarding, you know, the way blacks are treated by cops. And uh, it was, um, I didn't, I, did anybody watch it at all? No. I guess I wasn't that interested. Did you watch it, Charlie? Charlie? Oh, no. Charlie! Is he asleep or is he no. frozen? No, he's frozen. I think he had issues. He kept bouncing in and out. Really? Yeah. Really? He looks like he's sleeping. Look at how peaceful. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm trying to see. Is he breathing? No. <laughs> Well, that would suck if he died on the air. Oh, yeah. No, so yeah oh, there gone. we go. We, we just lost he's, gone. he's having issues, I think, yeah. He's having issues. Well, this has certainly gone fine. Uh, oh, there we go. There's Charlie. <laughs> he's Thank alive. You. Charlie, we thought you were, like, asleep or something like that. I got kicked off. I keep getting kicked <laughs> off. Wow. Really? I'm not doing anything. Maybe huh. I kicked you off by accident. No, I don't think so. I don't no. think so. But Maybe I'm having internet problems. Anyway, and, and I saw a little bit. Uh, George Floyd's brother was on there. They yeah. showed him speaking, which was pretty powerful, you know. But yeah, yeah. that's very, the only part that I saw today. Very powerful. Uh, yeah. But you know, I, to begin with, I I just I I wouldn't have held the hearings this early and then had him coming in the day after the funeral. Yeah, you know, right. I mean, I'm sure he wanted to talk, so it wasn't like he didn't. He was in a position where he didn't want to talk, but uh, you just you got to kind of question it a little bit. Well, here comes Phil again, 
And once again, no microphone, no camera. So I have no idea what Phil's problems are. You know. Um, because this works pretty easy for everybody, you know. I mean, well, yeah. Yeah, Phil yeah. is usually the guy who helps me. But. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. and then, uh, Na NASCAR, so NASCAR, they're not allowing the rebel flag, the Confederate flag, which is good. At least there's some people are starting to make some changes, maybe small, but um, very bizarre because I saw one of the races, one of the replays, yeah, they showed the infield, and they had those really long antennas, and they had the Confederate flag in those. I yeah. couldn't believe that they were letting those in at those times. Well, I, um, I, I was looking, I was trying to think today about how I feel about the Confederate flag, you know, or how I feel about any flag, for that matter, including the American flag. I mean, they're, they're so jingoistic. Uh, it just it doesn't make a hell of a lot of, you know, sense. Uh, to make a big deal out of a flag. There are a lot more important issues. But I think I think it's bizarre. Well, I think the reason it's a big deal is because it's not the American flag. There's a reason why those guys have that flag hanging, and it's not the American flag. If they want to show patriotism, they should show the American flag. Why do they go back into history like that and show that kind of flag? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I... I and, and, it make, and it make Sorry, Alex. But yeah, yeah. And then it makes it sort of... You know, the kids that are growing up in those families, and it makes them think that that's acceptable. And it's not. You get the American flag out there if you're a patriot. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't understand, to be honest with you. I mean, I here's the thing. The, the, the Confederate flag, and I understand why people are upset by it, uh, but it's just not, uh, to me, there's Phil. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Wow. Good night, Alex. Thanks for a great show. Thank you very much, Kevin, and thank you very much. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what was your problem, Phil? Uh, I think it wanted me to upload the newest version of Zoom, but the the problem was is that I did that the other night when uh, you switched to Zoom from Skype on the evening show, and uh, so maybe there was another update, and this thing won't let you use the the last version. Really? I think it was plus plus your browser was messing with it too. Yeah. Uh, but the yeah. thing is, the thing is, the well, of course you can use it without having Zoom installed. But well, I think now, it, now it's installed, so you shouldn't have no problems. Well, also also once it's installed, I think then it goes through the Zoom app. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, if you don't have Zoom, it goes directly to Zoom that sends you over to the person to the da, 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 yeah. da, you know. So well, anyway, well, here we all uh, are. The old gang is back together again. Yeah. It and, was messing. With and me. by the way, if anybody else wants to call, you know, I can take I can take a hundred people here. Technical service is closed now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, Kevin no, we, had, you know, he knows this stuff. Yeah, we but we had uh, thank you, by the way, Kevin, uh, or, you know, depending on how Phil is acts tonight, I'll, <laughs> I'll reserve my thanks. OK, <laughs> anyway, uh, so we can cut him out, too. Yeah. Uh, he, he, um, in case people are listening, I can take up to 100 people here. I don't want to do that. You know, I, I would prefer to have tops, maybe 15 or whatever. With Skype, we could only take like 10 before the thing started crapping out. Um, but uh, if you want to be on, all you do is you go to the, net, the gabnet.net page, and in the middle of the page, I have put a, uh, a little sign there that says, uh, you know, if you want to join Zoom during showtime, click here. And you just click there, and it will take you over to us and put you on the, uh, on the panel here. So if you have something you want to say, great. Again, it's taken yeah. us another... 25 minutes or a half hour to get everything going but this is a first time so i'm i'm i'm, I'm willing to you know go with the trouble we had, hmm? we had a team's presentation uh, a couple days ago mm -hmm. and they have a thing called an event they have an event where there's one presenter on there they can have up to five thousand people but you oh, nobody geez. else can speak nobody else can speak nobody else oh i see okay yeah so it's like a presentation like a conference yeah yeah but it's like, really or, it's like a webinar or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
But uh, uh, this is just, you know, it, it, this should be very simple. Plus, I don't have anything to do. It's just you people just pop in and out and pop in and out. And, and yeah, whatever. I guess as long as you put a link up. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I have, I'm, I have a, the link <clears> will <throat> always go up when we're doing a show on, on gabnet.net. And I'll usually put the link in the, in the video as well. And I, I put a link up on Facebook. So... That you all, all, and all you got to do is click that. So anybody listening to us right now, just click, be part of the thing, right? Anyway, uh, Charlie, what do you think about the Confederate flag? You're the, uh, you're the black go-to guy like, here. What? You'd like the Japanese flag or the German flag? Well, if somebody wants to hang a German flag, it's fine with me, but I don't consider that patriotic American. Yeah, well, I. And that's what I feel yeah. about the Confederate flag. Yeah. Um, I don't get mad at somebody. I see a truck, especially here in Texas. You see them all over the place. I see a truck with the Confederate flag on it. You know, but it's amazing. You know what I love about these these people like NASCAR and the and the and the foot and, and what do you call it the NFL and so on. All of a sudden, something like this happens, and they're Johnny on the spot, man. They they all of a sudden uh, we're ripping off the Confederate flags after those things have been there for the last you know. Yeah. As long as they've been race, uh, racing uh, NASCAR, and uh, all of a sudden they get jing, you know, and then of course you had the NFL going, oh well, we're going to let people kneel now. Well, what did you put what Kaepernick through that whole problem for? Are yeah. you going to give him his job back now because he was right? You know, so I I don't understand it. Did, did you see the black NASCAR driver that uh, put the uh, hashtag Black Lives Matter and. Bubba uh, Wallace, yeah. His car. Bubba yeah, Wallace. yeah, and he's he's got a uh, uh, a white and black hand on his uh, hood. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Is that what you were talking uh, referring to? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, no, but, but no. What I'm saying, you no. Know, NASCAR itself has now said they're going to n not allow the Confederate flag to be flown at NASCAR when they've allowed it to happen for the last forty fucking years or fifty years. Mm -hmm. You know, all yeah. of a sudden, right now, they got get jingoistic about the whole thing. They want to, well, you know. What's going to happen to that TV show with uh, the, the car that jumps over things and it's got the flag on it? Uh, uh, the Dukes of Hazard. Well, Dukes of well, Hazard. Dukes of Hazard hasn't been on the air for years, Phil. Well, uh, there's there's got to be a station around no. that's got it. You know, you know what? You know what? You know what's in trouble? You know what show they just took off? Yeah. Cops. 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 And live PD too, and live PD as well. And and then I read something that said all the networks are considering their cop shows. Hey, hey, yeah, I like that show. Oh. What show? You know, I, I, I was like at, watching live PD. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was at a bar mitzvah, and the guy they sat next to me was the producer of Cops. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is many years ago. And I I said to him, I had this idea for a show with reserve police officers that were, you know, cut-ups and, 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 and uh, not very, uh, you know, they, they'd go and they, they were garbage men by day and cops by night. And uh, uh, it wasn't too long after that, he comes up with the show Reno 911, where <laughs> they got cops that are wearing shorts. And yeah. I, I don't well, know that was a comedy. Yeah, it was a comedy, and and the and the reserve thing was supposed to be a comedy. So you know, maybe six months, eight months later, you got Reno nine one one, same producer, the guy that sat next to me in the in the bar mitzvah. I didn't get any credit. <laughs> yeah, but, but my my question here is, um, uh, you know, why all of a sudden these guys are suddenly deciding to do something about it? You know, um, uh, they. they it's if they don't, they're going to lose uh, a lot of people. You think so? Yeah, you know it's. Well, what happens? What happens to the cop procedural shows? You the, know the cop procedural shows. Well, you know the, the procedurals. The you know. Oh, not well, shows. The actual cop procedures. No, 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 no. There are like NCIS, there are shows and NCIS and, and things oh, yeah. like that are procedurals. I hope nothing. I like those shows. Yeah. yeah, but there's a question as to whether they're going to keep them on. Like, there's isn't there a what do you call it a a, a Chicago PD show? Yeah, yeah. and there's uh, you know there's Law and Order. Yep, and I you know I wouldn't want to be a cop right now. 
I mean, they, you know, they, they got nothing to, to work with. Hey, wait a minute. I have to warn you before I use deadly force. Well, the only reason you use deadly force is that you have to. And uh, I mean, a, a warning. Hey, well, uh, well, did you think, okay, 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 but Phil, in, yeah. in Minneapolis, you saw the video. Did they that need, did they, no, but I'm just saying, did they need to use deadly force? No, of course of not. Of course they, not. And, and that guy's going to go to jail for a long time. Yeah. But. And, and I don't think there's a cop that wants to go to jail. But, uh, you know, some of the things that they're coming up with, uh, you can't use a chokehold. Well, if you're fighting for your life, I'm going to use a chokehold. You know, it, 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 it's just the way it is. Where, I know. But one thing we haven't seen yet is the body cam. And if the body cam is on, I don't care. But when they keep turning them off and they're not showing people what's really going on, I heard that one is really graphic because you hear the other cops talking also. Well, I think, yeah. well, you know, I feel kind of, I don't, I don't want to say sorry for, but I feel a certain sympathy for. Uh, are, the, uh, are the two, one of the two cops who only had the job for four days. Yeah, they were and, and, trained. And, then he, yeah, and he, trained, went, yeah. he went out and he, were they in, was he in training? Yeah, yeah, both of them were in yeah. training. So he probably figured, oh, you know, I'm the I'm I'm being trained to do this, and so this is what I'm doing. You know. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you just went through and gave your your inner guts to get through the academy, and they put you with a training officer, and the training officer is doing something, you're not going to uh, criticize the training officer. You're going to do what he says to do. They had no idea the guy was going to have a heart attack while uh, they had his knee a knee in his neck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How did you know? Heart attack? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the autopsy said that he had a heart attack uh, when... Because he had uh, no air. Oh, God. Well, no, more than that, I think yeah, he was also on so, fentanyl. He was suffocated. So he was, the, yeah, the, he, the body was, cam that we haven't seen yet, supposedly you hear him, and one of the cops is telling them that he has no pulse. He doesn't think he's breathing. Oh, I heard that. So, yeah. I, I heard that on the cell phone video. Yeah, uh, but I mean, know, I, I, mean, I, 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 wrong. I think that was excessive force. Okay. Excessive. It was murder. It, it yeah. really was because you you see uh, the cop. I, I forget his name, just just son or something. Uh, you see him with the knee in, knee on his back or and possibly back or neck, and and his hand. One of his hands is in his pocket almost the whole time. So that means, I mean, if you're fighting with a guy. Uh, your hands aren't going to be in your pocket. Yeah, I kept wondering yeah, why that no hand fighting. was in the pocket, you know. And, uh, but you know, but here, here's the thing you have to assume. Uh, supposedly, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, had all kinds of me some medical problems, all right? Uh, but you have to assume that when you go and fight somebody like that, and you use these, these different chokeholds and things like that, that these people are, uh, you may have some mitigating factor that you're only aggravating and could kill them. There was no reason to fight the guy. He was in cuffs. Yeah. He was in cuffs. There he was wasn't no struggling. For the guy to do what he did. And, if, you know, uh, I, I would like him to be tried by a jury of his peers. I don't think the guy can get a fair trial the way things are, are running now. Maybe if they take him to Cuba, he'll get a fair trial. But, you know, you know, I, I what he did from what I could see mm. and, and the, and the world is in agreement that, uh, he killed a guy and, and it was, and it wasn't a chokehold. No, but, it wasn't. By, by the way, is, very, very, is, is this your, your, would this have been your opinion before the hormones? Uh, no, <laughs> because somebody just wrote Matt Crash wrote Phil is making sense for once. Yeah, well, I've also <laughs> had uh, three three uh, radiation treatments uh, today oh, as well. Oh, I, I wanted to write you about that because I wanted to say good luck on the radiation treatments, and I forgot it, to. It's um, it's like laying in a CT I skin. Know, I know. No, it's you know what it is. It's yeah. like you walk away and you go, did anything happen? Yeah, I asked them, when is the radiation on? And she says, when it's moving. Uh, I, I figured the radiation was on when it was stopped. <laughs> no, I knew when, it, when they were doing it because the thing would move around. In my case, it would move around. It was taking pictures. It was looking for stuff and everything like that. Then all of a sudden it would stop. And then yeah. it would start going this way. Right. And then went back that way. And they said, you're out of here. Bye. 
Yeah, it makes like three circles, takes 10 minutes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that I didn't have a really good movement this morning, uh, they wouldn't have had any problems. But they said... Uh, they don't you make know. you drink the water, do they? Yeah. Oh, they do? Okay. I have to have 32 ounces of water uh, about 30 minutes to 40 minutes before they put me on the table. Well, I and, every time I went in, I had this thing, and I, I used to go in, and they had this water... Jug? No, uh, you know, m machine. Yeah. And I would have to do, f I think it was five cups of water, yeah. of these big cups of water. I, I have a special water I like. It's an alkaline water. And mm -hmm. it's flavored. It's got uh, rose and uh, some other thing. Uh, the only reason they do that to you when they're doing radiation is they're trying to push. They're trying to push your uh, prostate, I think, away from your bladder. Your bladder. Yeah. They're trying to push the bladder uh, out of the way. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, you have to fill up with the same amount that you got when they put the tattoos on you. Yeah. So that the bladder has the same amount of water each time. And I really drank a lot of water. The yeah, first you have time. almost you're they, you're doing almost the same thing to you that they did to me, except that in my case they were times. they were using a higher dose yeah. of, of radiation, and it was far more pinpoint than. Uh, uh, well, there's nothing to pinpoint. They're looking to the general area. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Of, I I can understand why. Was. See, see, they should have left the prostate in so they had something to work on. Yeah, well, you know, if there would have been some cancer in the margins when they did the prostatectomy, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, they would have given me the radiation afterwards. Okay. But because they didn't see anything and I was getting uh, the zero PSAs, they, uh, you know, now I'm just doing what they would have done if they saw it. Yeah, well, you know, I'm I'm uh, just, I was going to write you, I forgot to, I was going to write you and say, good luck on your radiation. Because yeah. I know what it's like to be radiated. So anyway, enough of that. Enough so, of that. So far, uh, I haven't had any any issues with the radiation or with the hormones. Well, you're, you seem to be <laughs> you seem to be much nicer tonight. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, where are we? Oh yeah. So um, uh, let's see. Trump did in the back. Uh, Trump is going to have a a, a big uh, rally, isn't he? Where is he going? Um, well, Moscow, parking lot of Kmart, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good spot. Yeah, but I mean, is he gonna is he gonna just push everybody into these places together in an enclosed yeah. place? Well, He's I gonna do it. So. I think they're gonna have to social distance. Where you know mass. what? I'm all for it because yeah. by the time the election comes around, half of his voters are gonna be dead. Well, all of your voters <laughs> are gonna be dead. They rioted. Yeah. What would you say, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Phil said. I was going to say the exact same thing. What? They'll be dropping like flies everywhere. What? Yeah. What were you going to say? Yeah. Patrick? What? I, I, I was going to say, and, and all of your voters are going to be dead as well because with the rioting, you can't get any, or even just the protesting. I mean, they're goddamn near butt fucking each other and, <laughs> and kissing each other. They're so fucking close. So it's the same thing with the Trump rally. They're, they're well, no, there may be a big difference with the Trump rallies. To begin with, if you looked at those demonstrations, and I, it's, it's an, a big credit to the demonstrators, they were wearing masks. And that certainly when it mitigates things a little bit. All right? Uh, and, and so consequently, because that mitigates it, um, it makes it a little bit safer. You're not going to see masks at a Trump rally. Well, I bet you will, and I bet they'll say Trump 2020, and people will <laughs> turn with pride. The, the rioters weren't wearing masks; those were hoodies, and you were seeing them from the back. Yeah, I see. Okay, but what I'm saying is, is that that I don't. Th I bet. I, I bet that people are not going to wear masks at the, the, the Trump are, rally right? because he doesn't. He he sets the example. Yep. Did you see Nadler today during the uh, congressional uh, deal that they had, where they interviewed? Uh, felonious uh, uh, Floyd uh, and um, Dan Bongino and a number of other people, the brother of uh, George Floyd. I didn't watch it. No. Well, uh, I saw Nadler, I saw clips of it tonight. Nadler said everybody's got to wear a mask. His was under his neck, and during his questioning, his aide, a woman, went up to him and whispered in his ear, "She didn't have a mask on either." 
And, uh, you know, so I, I think the thing's a farce. But no, it's not a farce, Phil. There, it, to begin with, Marjorie and I were walking down the street the other day, all yeah. right, going up to the park. There's nobody around us. It's a hot day. She takes her mask and puts it down here. She goes, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not bump coming, going, coming within six feet of somebody or even 20 feet of somebody. Mm -hmm. And so I can take it down and I'll put it back up when I'm close to somebody. And I thought that was reasonable because, uh, you know, plus she went and had her test the other day and she came out negative and mm -hmm. uh, uh, which is great because that means I don't have it. So I don't even have to go ahead. Not this. necessarily. No, it's a pretty good shot that, you know, that I if she had it, I would have gotten it. OK, yeah, I, I would assume. That. I mean, we still do kiss, even though we're at the age we're at. We still do sleep in the same bed together and uh, and, and breathe in each other's faces. So if I were going to have it, I was going to have it. Right. Yeah. You know, but uh, I bet in the, in the, in the, in the it, uh, Cuomo who tells everybody to wear a mask when he does his things, he takes his mask off. He wears one, sits down, takes it off talks <clears throat> he has people on either side of him six feet away they don't wear masks either when they finally get up to leave they put the masks on so i don't know why somebody uh like nadler uh would necessarily have to wear a mask if he's not within close proximity of people now you say his his associate his aide did but he his his aide may be tested regularly he may be tested regularly we don't know the dynamics of that but uh, just like I don't have to worry about Marjorie, you know, we could walk down the street without masks and each other if there's nobody else on the street. See, so, I mean. And with my luck, a guy comes out of the door and, and uh, gives me a big, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I was, uh, uh, in fact, I think uh, playing it tomorrow, I have an interview with, uh, with uh, uh, Steve Kravitz. And uh, he said to me, uh, do you think maybe this whole COVID thing is a hoax? Then I said, it may be where you live in Boulder City, Nevada, but it isn't here. You know, we got people. I, I have one guy that I do business with that I haven't heard from in two months. And I, I texted him and I, uh, I wrote him and I'm going to try calling him next. But I have not heard back from him. Hope he's not like your friend John Rockwell. Well, I think that, you know, he could very well be dead, you know, uh, and, and, and married we, or have uh, people that would see him and, you know, it, it, to where they, he'd be discovered and he's not just laying in his living room floor. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not that close to this guy. OK, so I don't know his, the, the, the nature of his personal comings and goings, yeah. but he's the guy who, who got possession of these photos with me. Mm -hmm. And we have them in storage. And every month he sends me a bill for my part of the storage and I pay it. Yeah. He hasn't sent me one in two months. That's not good. No, it's not good. Contact the storage place and see if they've been paid. You don't want the stuff to end up, <laughs> uh, uh, ending up like that. Who's that woman, Myers? Uh, that, uh, well, well, it's on a credit. I'm, sure, I'm sure he uses a credit card to pay it. So, and that's probably on. Um, if he's dead, the credit cards could be gone. Well, maybe not yet. You don't know, you know. But I'll, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna it's figure this one out. George place. Yeah, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> to tell you the truth. It might be on the bill. Yeah, I no, I, he never sent me a bill. He's the one that got the bills. But anyway, <clears throat> be that. I still have most of the photographs that I need uh, that were. Uh, copied and made into files yeah. and so on but anyway um you know and of course the uh um the heat continues with uh, the president and his comments about about uh about that gentleman and uh, 75 year old gentleman who was knocked to the ground in in buffalo uh but more than that there was a a article i read courtesy of vanity fair today that said that this whole thing about um, Antifa or Antifa uh, is really just a scare tactic. That they really, as I've been arguing for a long while, don't exist in any appreciative way. Sometimes people say, I am Antifa, 
but they're not really. It turns out the Justice Department and all the people they have investigated in these demonstrations, none of them have been Antifa. They've been going after this. What is this? Bull, blue, 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 blue. Is it like, uh, wasn't it like 81 investigations they've done so far? And yeah, none of them and they were... couldn't find a single member of Antifa. Is, is there a Black Lives Matter uh, a company, you know, that you can find? And, and no, not and... really. I mean, it's, it's a hashtag and it's a cause. So maybe and a woman Antifa created it. A woman thing? created it. Yeah. It maybe Antifa is the same thing. No, no. Antifa basically doesn't exist, Phil. But they do. I see them in in uh, at riots in Berkeley. Uh, oh, when, really? When there were right wing speakers trying to speak, they organized and uh, protested and it, rioted. It, again, I, it's like I said last night when when they started the the uh, the yippies here in New York. Uh, they did so to make the government think there was this huge conspiracy, and it was only five people. Oh. You know, and and Antifa is the same thing. I mean, I can say I could do something, and then say I'm Antifa, and nobody's going to argue that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Go look at Wikipedia. It's edited all over the place with all kinds of crap. Yeah, I, I don't know that you can. Yeah, but I mean, it. the president's trying to yeah, use it, as, has named it as a terrorist organization, and the DOJ doesn't even have a record of them. Okay? The, the, the terrorists, uh, not terrorists, uh, the president is going after. No, the terrorists, go ahead, CNN. continue. Yes. They went after CNN for a poll that they uh, published, I believe, today mm -hmm. that said that Biden was going to win, I guess, a 14 point lead, something well, like he that. He was in the lead. Uh, he was in the lead, and he, uh, Trump, hired a, a company to investigate it, and uh, it turns out that CNN actually pulled it and apologized. Uh, no, 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 no. Cuomo didn't apologize for it today. Not Cuomo, CNN. No, uh, they say that they use McLaughlin and Company, and McLaughlin and Company is one of the worst. They they had some history with backing some other poll. And they were like, how many points off? Like, a, like they 20 were points off or something. Said, yeah, but uh, that, CNN pulled the ball up? and apologized. Uh, so, the guy that lost the bets, hmm? one of the Republican leaders in the House, they said he was going to win by 30 points. He ended up losing by bets. 12. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. And that was uh, McLaughlin, yes, the same, same poll. But CNN used, that, used a poll <clears> to predict <throat> who was going to win the election, and Trump uh, hired a company to uh, investigate it, and uh, they, they found that they were the poll was wrong, and CNN pulled it. And well, and I mean, see, everybody gets polls, and if if they're shown that the polls have a, an error in them, they will do that. I mean, you know, okay. it's not it, it, there are so many polls out there that how accurate are any of them? Well, yeah. that's uh, that's you know that's part of it, but uh, this was a win for Trump. A win right. for Trump. Yeah, one in the win column. Right no, there. well, well oh, what did he win? Gee, uh, uh, he won over CNN and the fake news. Well, so he's a stop clock, basically. He's right yeah, well, twice a day. Not necessarily, you'll never admit when he's right. Never. You'll never admit when he's wrong. Well, he's never wrong. That's, what, <laughs> see, yeah. that's exactly what I'm saying. Kevin, you want uh, two cents in here? Oh. Yeah, thanks, Kevin, for bringing them no, on. He's, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's just thinking, how can he disconnect me from, <laughs> from the Zoom? No, actually, I have, well, complete, I, do that pretty easy. I have complete control over everybody in this. Yeah. If I want to mute everybody here, I can mute everybody here all at the same time, or I can unmute them all at one, and I, or I could just mute you if you got too rambunctious and whatever. I, I do have a lot more control over this. And it looks good on screen, you know. Yeah. It just doesn't allow me to put a background on it and, you know, mm -hmm. make it. But you can you get the gap net on there. The I, gap yeah, net. That, that, well, that, I, that I do through the, uh, the um, OBS, OBS, but the actual uh, Zoom conference, uh, I can't do anything you about. You can't feed this into OBS then the way you do Skype. No, I, I, no I, I can't feed each of you individually. I see. You know, I have to take the whole bunch of you, mm. you know. And, but if they get to be too many people, I can uh, open the waiting room so that people go into a waiting room that has the logo there and everything. And that, then as I see them, I can bring them in, you know. Is that a gaggle of callers? 
Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> We don't have it. We have well, we have a decent amount of people listening tonight. And, but it would be nice if, if we just got a lot more people calling, just so I could see how many this could take. This is hardly putting any real heavy breathing on my on my CPU and stuff. This is really, really quite good, you know. Yeah. Um, and and it, uh, I, it, it you know it works pretty pretty perfectly. I don't know. Am I out of sync? No, not really. So. You know, it's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, um, uh, so let me see here. Was there any, there was something else that I that I was uh, thinking about, and then I uh, completely forgot it. I should write all these things down. Kevin, did you hear about anything that you want to talk about? Well, I I was kind of I've been kind of concerned about the whole defunding of the police. Mm -hmm. I got a problem with that. Okay, tell me about it. I, I, I don't know. I The whole completely defunding of police, I just don't get. Um, I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but I don't think it's a good idea. I sure as hell don't want to be a cop. Uh, I want to be able to call 911 and have a cop come take care of my shit. Um, I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's way too liberated for me. Well, I think I think defunding doesn't exactly mean stopping. Well, that's that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. I, I don't think some it, people it, it, out there saying, yeah. "Let's close down the police department," and then there's some people out there saying, "Defund it." I want them to have every tool they need. Well, what, but I think they need to be retrained. What they did, and yeah. re-educated, and and you know, probably uh, there has to be some uh, discipline in the police department. But I sure as hell don't want, you know. A social worker showing up at a uh, dispute because, you know, that, that ain't the way it's supposed to go, I don't think. Well, and, uh, hey. from what I understand, uh, defunding doesn't mean getting not paying them at all. What it means is taking some of the money away and appropriating it to community services, which might be benefited by it and help some of those problems that cops are now labored with having to handle. Yes, yeah, Phil. And I get that, but yeah. some people aren't saying that. There's a lot of people saying, you know, like close down Minneapolis Police Department. Right. Well, no, and that's crazy. Here's, here's what some now here's what some police departments are doing. Okay, they are and what they did in Minneapolis. They literally fire everybody in the police department and then have them come in and reapply and then reassemble the police department cleaner and better than it was before. They did this what in they, they did this them? they did this in Camden, New Jersey and they've got a really great police department now and was once one of the worst in the country. Wow. Well, uh, I I see the left wants to take the power away from the police and they want to take the uh, gun ownership away. They would prefer that there be no police. Uh, this is the other side. Now, uh, as far as as far as uh, defunding the police, I made a little joke the other day that what defunding was a, a good idea because what you do is you have somebody call in to nine one one. And they give their credit card and they pay uh, for the service. Now, if you want concierge service, uh, you, you pay and you get a vetted police officer. If you don't, if, uh, let's uh, uh, okay. low, the a you lower know, tier we service. Have too little time and the joke is taking too a long. A lower tier oh. service, you get six Hell's Angels that will kick, uh, do a beat down. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> anyway, depends on what yeah, you okay. for. quickly, That's Charlie, Charlie's got his hand up and then Ray and Ray, turn right. off your, your mic until you do come oh. on. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Because it's making clicking noise when you're walking. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Ray, uh, Charlie. And then Ray. Okay. Charlie. What? Charlie froze. Oh, oh there he goes. No, he's a little, he's oh. frozen again. Hmm. Yeah. That's the first time. Are, with are you there, Charlie? Huh? Ray, did yeah, you have something you wanted to say? Hello. Yeah. I, I just I just wanted to say two things. Um, with all due respect, Phil, I, I think that Trump demanded an apology. I don't think CNN gave an apology. Uh, the other thing is that CNN's polling arm is separate from their news department. But their news department uh, was using the polling arm. Um, and yeah. the people that Trump hired 
people that Trump, the people that Trump. We're losing uh, he, him uh, because he's he's walking. Because he was talking uh, bad about Trump. Uh, had to, <laughs> where you're getting your information, but that's not. Okay, I didn't hear. I didn't hear what you said. Sorry. What, what, what oh. you have to do is stand still, uh, uh, Ray, when you're talking okay. because oh, oh, okay. we keep losing you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So did you hear anything I said? No. Yes. No. Uh, no, I did. Uh, uh, you. Uh, you. Uh, I was just saying, CNN is CNN's polling department is separate from their news department. Um, I read that Trump demanded an apology, but they have not given an apology. They did because they're me. standing. Huh? Didn't they pull the uh, the survey? Did they? That's not what I read. Yeah. Uh, huh? Where I are you getting from. that? Well, he gets it from probably watching it's, um, uh, News yeah. One or whatever that stupid. No, nah, I, well, I wish I got News One. I have to find. Uh, yeah, uh, Charlie, you had something you wanted to say? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to completely get rid of the police department and have no police out there. That's just a very, very badly worded talking point. Yeah. I'm sure there's some people that would like to get rid of the police. What they yeah, also don't want in Oakland, they're 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 doing they they disbanded well, the school uh, police. Phil, what they I want what I want to argue with you and I, but we don't have that much time. Huh? But you used the term and you said people want to take power away from the police department. Yeah, to begin they, with, they the fact that they, that they have the power is what we're complaining about. That the well, it, it isn't power they should have. They should have authority. the ability to, to help be uh, be a community service. They want to take authority uh, away from the police department. But the the uh, Oakland uh, school district uh, is eliminated the ten school cops. They I believe they did that today, uh, yeah. and they don't want cops to use uh, militaristic types of uniforms. Uh, well, I agree or, with that totally. Yeah, I think yeah. all that does is incite more problems. Yeah, uh, it's supposed to protect. See, the interview that I saw, and it was early on, it may have been a week or two ago, when they were talking about defunding Minneapolis, the one lady that I saw that was leading the thing said that they want the Minneapolis police done with, and we'll take care of everything. Right. So I thought that was absolutely nuts. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. But I all. I have nothing mm -hmm. wrong with somebody saying, Let's fire, let's fire everybody in the police department and then have them reapply for their jobs and look upon them on their merit as to whether we hire them back. And then you what you have... Well, I don't know about doing it that way, but they should filter out the bad apples. Yeah, well, I agree it, with it's that. Better, I don't it's know about firing everybody. Better, what are they going to do in between? It's, do you think well, their uh, unions uh, would allow that? Well, you know something? Fuck the unions. I think that, that there's That's an true. argument to be made for the question that yeah. uh, in this case, if the unions care about the welfare of their policemen, that's fine. If they care about the wages of their policemen, that's fine. But when they say that they come in and they say, we're going to protect our police from being accused of something, I think then it becomes a community, uh, a community uh, safety Oh, that's question. the thing they want to take away, uh, something Im Im immunity. Uh, I forgot... Uh uh, where they can't be prosecuted if yep. they would, did something yeah. uh, and thought they were doing the right but thing. But what I'm saying so is, is that I, so I have nothing against, I have nothing against, uh, 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 you know, uh, the, the police uh, having a union that, uh, you know, um, uh, f fights for bigger, better wages and better working conditions and, and, and uh, the way in which they are t taken care of and so on. When it comes to uh, general community safety issues and saying, oh, you can't prosecute this cop, we're coming to his defense, and blah, 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 they are now getting into the area of community safety, and they shouldn't have anything to do with that. Minneapolis, they defunded one precinct <laughs> already. They burned it down. <laughs> yeah, they burned it down. <laughs> New York, too. Anyway, we got uh, we got our theme song playing. Hey, this actually now that we got it working works pretty good. Looks good, yeah. you know. Looks good on the screen. Didn't seem to have any real problems with it. A few people froze here and there, but so what else is new with the internet? Thank you very much to um, Brian. Thank you very much to Patrick and to Kevin for being our uh, uh, tech tonight. Cool. Who got uh, Phil on? Much Thank to you, our Jerry. dismay, Jeff, you hardly said anything tonight, but uh, what the hell, you know, it's great having you here. Phil, good having you here. Ray, good having you out there doing your little, little walk. 
And uh, uh, Charlie, uh, good having you too. Uh, really terrific. Uh, everybody, uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay? There goes the citizen panel, folks. There they go. Uh, and uh, they're through with us, and we're through with them. Uh, Hi guys. Yeah, the next show that's on is the uh, is the exchange is the exchange the intersection with Jack Bishop. I'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye bye everybody.